Today I'm demonstrating the Synopsys Designware IP prototyping kit for the DDR UMC TL2 controller. This kit provides essential hardware and software elements needed to reduce IP prototyping and integration efforts so designers can start implementing IP and an SOC in minutes. The kit includes a Synopsys HAPCX FPGA based prototyping system with pre configured IP and SOC integration logic, a DDR3 sodium data board, simulation test bench, streamlined synthesis flow, reference software, and application example. The kit also includes an emulation DDR4 multi fi intensiated with a UMCTL2 within the synthesized FPGA image. This kit includes a 32 bit Designware Art processor based software development platform running Linux. Here is the HAPCX system, ARC software development platform, and the DDR3 Sodium data board. The kit includes an SD card with a UMCTL2 memory controller, DDR4 Multify, and associated SOC integration logic, which I'll plug into the HAPCX system. A second SD card, which I'll plug into the ARC software development platform, holds the DDR application examples that run on the processor platform. The DDR3 SODIM daughter board includes single rank memory, while the HAPCX system includes dual rank onboard memory, both of which can be used for prototyping purposes. All IP development kits are compatible with most software development tools, so software engineers can start driver and firmware development in their preferred environments. To see the IP prototyping kit in action, I'll switch on the HAPCX system and the ARC software development platform access through a terminal. I'll bring up the DDR config tool to configure the UMCTL2 memory controller and associated file, and then start the memory initialization process. To streamline prototyping, the tool checks communication and accessibility, as well as retrieving serial present detect files. After initialization, we'll verify the test functionality and memory accessibility. In addition to the DDR config tool, the kit includes a GUI that allows designers to read and write the associated UMCTL2 and DDR4 multi fi registers. The GUI also reads the serial presence detect information from the target SODIM. Synopsys provides this application example and related source code within the IP prototyping kit so that designers can modify, update, or even create their own applications to suit their needs. The IP prototyping kit allows you to quickly and easily explore many different scenarios. As you can see, this kit works right out of the box. However, developers would like to modify the IP for their own applications, so we have provided a fast iteration flow of tools. This flow uses the Synopsys Core Consultant tool with a simple GUI interface to change the configuration, generate RTL, and verify the IP integration using the simulation test bench environment, all in about one hour. Core Consultant allows designers to change or select a configuration through a simple GUI. This intuitive interface guides you through the available options for fast reconfiguration turnaround time. When you're finished, clicking Apply generates the RTL. Instead of using the Core Consultant GUI, Designers can perform the configuration process through the provided script, which allows a number of configuration changes, such as memory data width, ECC functionality, and swapping between the HAPSDX onboard memory and the DDR3 data board. The IP prototyping kit includes a Protocompiler DX GUI, used for design synthesis, or tickle scripts to expedite the process and complete the place and route. Once the design is modified and reloaded in the SD card, you can check key internal signals and status registers. The IP prototyping kit comes pre-instrumented to capture relevant signals. This capability gives designers the ability to view several seconds of waveforms to speed up the debug interaction. The captured RTL waveforms can be viewed on popular hardware debuggers, such as Synopsys Verde or most other waveform viewer tools. After you have completed your software and hardware development, the IP prototyping kits can easily connect through an AXI tunnel to a HAP70 platform, creating a large SOC prototype. You have seen how Synopsys Designware IP prototyping kits for UMCTL2 provide immediate productivity for hardware engineers and software developers. Thank you for watching.